Legend of Total War here with part 3 of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play campaign as France. Alright, so previously we conquered uh, Great Britain, which was a really good start, and uh, now we're fighting the Prussians, which I really can't make an aggressive move on them because they've got too many armies. And the problem is every time you put down one of their armies, another one will just sprout out right behind them. So I need to have more than one army in play, and I just can't justify that right now because these guys have to stay there for um, for um, for garrison reasons. Otherwise, we lose what we've gained here in England. Now, I've been having to think about other things we can do. One of the main things we that we should be focusing on in in times where we there's no point expanding is trying to make more money. Now, but have a look at these trade routes over here. Obviously, it's things like Spain we don't want to attack because they're allies. But, Portugal is not an ally. Um, we are trading with them, but... I'm going to cancel that, because I want to have a naval battle. Over here, they're making 1,988 of, of sugar. So that's not allowed. So what we'll do is we'll send these over there. To go and, um, to go and get them. And then maybe Denmark after that, because they've got they've got a fair amount of money coming out of this. Let me wait till I get down there. Okay, so our income coming in at the moment is seven thousand three hundred and twenty-eight. That's pretty good. Bring these guys down here. Just try and get as many trade ships as possible. We want merchantmen over Indiamen, uh, even though we can't get Indiamen, um, not from here. But I think we can get one from up there. Um, the cheaper upkeep costs. And I don't think the Indian men provide more trade. So let's get... Yeah, it's twice as much. Get a merchantman over here so we can make use of these trade resources, which I don't think anyone is using. So from the trade resources of Great Britain... Merchantman it is. Because that will make us a lot of money over time. I think there's other ports here as well. Actually, cancel that. I think there's... Yeah, get this one here. We don't need them to be military ports. Now, I was thinking about sending these guys home. But if we're going to go to war with um, Portugal, it might be an idea just to leave them there for the time being. I mean, the Portuguese shouldn't be able to walk through enemy territory. Uh, as in, through... I should say neutral territory. I shouldn't be able to walk through Spain to get to me, but we'll just keep them there just in case. Could also be in our favour. Instead of sending these guys over here to... Actually, what I'll do is I'll raise a new army. Oh, I've got no cash anyway. We'll do it next turn. Um, oh, I wanted to build the great arsenal, so... Okay, cancel a few of these, because I really want... I think that needs to be repaired. Cancel that. Really want the Great Arsenal to get started on. Because that will give us access to 12 pound artillery. I want you researching this and you researching that. Good. Good. I'm happy with this. Let's move on. I think the situation in Italy is, um, is fine. The Kingdom of Italy will handle it for the time being. It's just... We can't send one army in to take out four. It's, it's just not going to work. Not without exploits, and I don't want to be using exploits, because it's, in this game they're so boring to use, to sit there and have your artillery kill off an entire army, but over the period of like four hours. It's not fun. Anyway, attacking an enemy head-on is the, the dumbest way to go about things. We need to come up with a strategy that's going to hit them where they don't expect us. Like, send an army around here. Maybe send it via Napoleon. Come up through here and hit Prussia. Like, right, right over here or something. Hit them actually in Prussia. Force them to spread their forces out and attack them from both sides. Put them on the defensive. Whatever the case is, let's um, 
let's get this. Don't call in the allies because we don't want them helping. If anything, they'll just get in the way. Okay, they ran away. That's okay, we can still reach them. Needs to be fought manually if we want to capture their, their ships, which is exactly what we want to do. So, now if memory serves me correctly, I didn't play a whole lot of Napoleon. It's the only Total War game that I've actually clocked less than 100 hours on. Um, man, why would you come on during the rain? But it's different from Empire Total War. You guys have seen me take out entire fleets with just like one ship on Empire, but in Napoleon it's not so easy. The AI is a little bit better and there's also range penalties to chain shot. And also on very hard difficulty, uh, standard shot is almost worthless. Damn this weather, sir! Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. Yeah. Well, it's going to also be a. Um, penalty for them as well, slightly, except it impedes my visibility, which is. It doesn't impede theirs at all. They can see exactly what's going on. So I just want to start by using these three. Balance of power significantly in our fact. Okay, hang on. First things first. We gotta be taking out the enemy sails. I don't get the point of this line formation. It just seems so stupid. It's one of the reasons why I don't like the 18th century. It just it just seems so fucking stupid to me. With everything's in a straight line. Your line infantry, your line ship of the line. It just doesn't doesn't seem like it was intelligent to me at all. So yeah, it's getting some shots in on us. On us. That's okay. It's shooting our tank. Ah oh, fuck! The wind is in this direction. We need to be sailing that way. Whilst you can still do some damage to them, you're going to do a lot more with the wind than against it. One thing that you notice on this difficulty as well is that, despite the fact that you know their cannons obviously not as powerful as ours, they won't do much damage to the hull. They'll wipe out our cannons. Our cannons get wrecked very early. See, if they'd been had their sails down, that would have done so much damage to them. So I'm aware this is the 19th century, but it's still 17th century war, sorry, 18th century warfare. It's very similar. So yeah, we want those sails down. See, that's just not doing anything. We've already lost like fucking seven cannons here. Luckily, they don't cost that much to repair. Much better to capture a ship than, than sink it. Kicking these guys off the trade route is going to be very useful for us. God damn it, this is going like shit. They're doing so much damage to my ship here. Come on. Slow the motherfucker down. I really wish... Um, one of the things that really frustrates me about this game is not being able to choose the weather that you fight on. Like in other Total Wars. Like I would not have made this attack in, during the rain. It's not to my advantage at all. Okay, cool. We've got to get these guys chasing us with the wind at their back. Or else it's just not going to work for us. They're also in this stupid line formation. It just really pisses me off. Very boring to fight against that. Okay. 
I'm on the brake formation, it's not coming at me. Because the thing is, if I was to use um, standard shot, I could easily sink all these ships, but that's not what we're here to do. We're here to capture them. I mean, it's okay if I... I guess we could sink this ship. It's a 20 pull gun, I don't fucking care about that. Damn fog, I can't even properly see where, where my line of fire is going to be. Yeah, this, this formation that they're in, I just choose not to engage with it because it's, it's ultra defensive and they will eventually break out of it. In Empire Tide War, it's very easy to counter because you can just easily outrange it, but in this, it's not so easy. Uh, I think I'm mostly pissed off about this fog. I fucking hate the rain and the fog. I hate anything that impedes my visibility. I hate fucking trees. I hate fog. Because I know the AI doesn't, doesn't see in the same way that I do. It gives them the advantage, and I don't like giving my enemies an advantage. Okay, they just broke rank there, and they're heading towards these ships here. Well, we've got them pincered now, but not really in the way that I wanted to. I don't give a fuck about these ships here. If they get blown up, I don't give a shit. Because their ships are bigger than mine. Well, you know, these two. And of course, on this difficulty, the, the cannon of a trade ship, one shot can blow up your fucking frigates. I've got to get them sailing through the wind, or else we're not going to slow them down properly. Yeah, I really am angry about this fog. I, I, I hate it. It's so much easier in Empire Total War. Alright, just, just sink that one. Like I said, I don't really care about it. Another comparison to let you know how ridiculous the bonuses are on this difficulty. You use a 38 gun frigate against their 24 gun frigate, their 24 gun frigate will win. That's okay, against two of them I shouldn't have the advantage. God damn it, why don't you guys hurry back? I wanted to use these three and they just like bypass them. Use grape shot, try and get them to rout, because he's pretty close to them here. Okay, now that they're routing, board it. It's really dangerous to be boarding when there's this many enemy ships close by. You're gonna have to shoot them. The fuck is wrong with its. God damn, this game is so full of bugs. Okay, good, it's surrendered. 
you're probably gonna get destroyed for being this close. Yeah, it's fucked. Get it out of there if you can. Alright, so we've taken out one of their ships. Is it just me or is it audio really loud on, on the, the naval battles? Oh, it's a bit. Shit, he's lost a lot of cannons. And this is a this is a big ship as well. For it to lose that much, it hasn't even taken that many shots. Go out there, I want you to repair your hull. Just do damage to the Indian man right now. Okay, it's routing, that's good. We need to We need to keep it going though. We need someone to board it. But they're all all my ships are really slow. And how long do you want to take to get back over here for fuck's sake? Slow this motherfucker down. There's more cannons. Let's slow that one down quite a bit. Let's get between these two if we can. Good, that slowed it down. Ah, uh, but this one came back now. It's just the merchantmen, they have really low morale anyway. Oh, I double broadsided. Fuck, come on. It's on fire, that's no good. Got three ships shooting at it. I gotta get him out of there. Uh, he's going against the wind, he's going real slow. One of our ships is withdrawing from the fight! Yeah, that was a silly move there. Well, sometimes you gotta take risks, but that one didn't pay off. Just leave. Come board them. And you board this one as well. So it's just the two India men that are left now. And they are definitely the most annoying to deal with, I think. It's actually surrendered, but it's on... It's on fire. Oh no, they got rid of the fire, that's okay. Okay, just get back. We need to... Goddamn, the Indian men are actually hard to deal with. It's because they've got a lot of guns. See, the merchantmen have barely got any guns. But the thing is, both of their sails are, are, are pretty much wrecked now. You quite done, come back here now. It doesn't matter that it's surrendered, as long as we win the battle, we get it back. Provided it doesn't sink. Okay, good, you've surrendered. I think they've got really long range as well. Can't help me out much. That needs to repair. The ship is lost, sir. Ah, you Fucking turd. It's sunk. It's alright. It's one of those shit ones. I 
tell you what, these Indian men, they're, they're hard to deal with. I keep thinking of them as like what they are in Empire Total War and they're uh, a lot easier. These are more like galleons. Not really. Uh, you love it when they don't aim for the right fucking sail, the ones who are destroyed. Still, that's good. That one's really badly damaged now. And you, I want you to come up this one's ass. It's ass stone and, uh, and shooters. That other ship that's over there, I think it, it sunk. But it was what? 24? A 38 gun frigate. That's okay, I don't care about them. Stay there and. Way anchor. Just keep shooting it. I think we've got this. Oh no, I just don't like to lose any ships on any of these kind of things. Okay, that's not going anywhere. I hit it with a few few bombs. I don't think the grape shot's very effective in this game, so... Just hit it with standard shot. Turn around here. Get rid of the sail. Oh, aim for the wrong one. Oh, that was... A glorious victory, sir. Huh. It's soon they to hadn't be yours. surrendered. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. You're at its back now. Yeah, we've got them pincered now. They can barely move. We've got this. This is what we were trying to work towards. To get them in a situation where they can't move and then we can just shoot them without them able to use their broadsides. But it was difficult to get them to get in that position because their ships were faster than mine. To begin with. That one surrendered and this one... Shouldn't be too far off because it's surely um, dismayed by the loss of the battle. I'll be getting that one back. Yeah, I don't want to lose my bloody 74 gunners. Yeah, it can't move now. Shit. I just want to squeeze in the middle here. Ah, damn it. I'm going to have to take a broadside. And that just makes them happy when they get to shoot us like that. Okay. Park your ass there and just grape shot them. Damn it, they just do not want to route, do they? So I don't want to damage the well I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be capturing it. So Yeah, full full of holes. Just don't destroy the ship, okay it's surrendered. Yeah, that was pretty close. But we've we've captured all of their ships.
at the cost of one of mine. So what we do here? Twenty? F no, you know what? I don't want the twenty-four gun up. Actually, what I do is bring that in. You scupper it in order to take its guns. Try and give these guys back some of their guns, because I don't want them to use using, using them. Not really. Um, how much do they cost? See, I'm not getting very much from from loot from this one. And then we take the four ships that we've just gained. Oh, we can't move them. So we we'll move them next turn, though. And now we're at war with Portugal, so we're going to have to do something about that. The other, the other four ships that we've got will be sent back here for for repairs. And then we'll need to bring a fleet down. I mean, I could bring this one. Actually, I tell you what I want. I want some of these units to disappear. I don't want all of them. How many recruit slots are here? Four. Okay, so that was perfect. Um, and let's get... Let's get them. I'm sure some people are like, What are you doing disbanding grenadiers? They're better. It's just like, well, I don't like them, so... I don't use their grenade abilities. It requires too much micro. And I find that it doesn't even do much damage. Okay, so... I don't care if they take this region, but I don't want to come under damage while we're... We're not in good shape. Okay, what's our income now? 8,000. So that would have... Oh, right, we haven't actually made use of those ships yet. So, yeah, we've got to build these trade ports so that we can build more of these ships. We get more trade resources to make more money. And, yeah, let's get that college, because I want to research some of the stuff. Okay, we're in good shape there. Let's move on. It's fine, I didn't even want the settlement. How the fuck did the, um... The Prussians win that. They had a much smaller army. If I go over there and recapture it, I'm sure it'd be pretty easy because they must have taken some damage from that. I mean, I wouldn't want to hold on to it, but just to capture it, just to just to hit them, force them to recruit, and possibly kill the general there because it's a. What's that, six-star general? No, it doesn't seem like the game's loud enough, I don't think. Can't tell how much damage they actually took. The only unit that's really badly damaged is this one there. Well, that's okay, just come over there. It's probably just another order resolve. Yeah, then we can get away with an order resolve there. Yeah, we didn't lose any units. They took way more casualties than us. Could loot it. it looks like they actually looted the settlement. Could cause a revolt though, so I'd rather not have more enemies than what we've already got. But we don't want to stick around here. En avant, marche. Actually, have better replenishment here. And demolish that for a different kind of building. Actually, them taking that was good because it fixed up public order. I want to 
raise a new army out here as well. Good to have some cavalry, but certainly don't want heaps. Just the numbers aren't there for it. So I don't want any of these artillery, I want the 12 pounders, which will come available in 6 turns. So in the meantime, just get the fuselers of line ready. But we don't need to go too heavy on them. As in straight away, just because it'll be a while before these artillery can even be recruited. And then they take like 3 or 4 turns to recruit. How long until these guys can actually leave? 3 turns. We'll see if we can actually modify the government a little bit to get some better public order. Biggest problem here, justice. Yeah, this guy's losing happiness to nobility. Do any of these guys have... It was the lower classes here that were the problem, though. Sometimes they generate a random trait upon being hired. Okay, this guy... Got. Let me just have a look at that. So, one to management. So, that's good. Happiness for lower classes, no happiness, or reduced happiness for the lower classes, uh, for the upper classes. Plus, that's two extra uh, repression than what the previous guy had. So it's plus three happiness to the lower classes, plus one happiness to the, to the upper class. But we won't be able to see that come into effect until next turn, I think. So I want to convert these to trade ports because we don't need all of these. We're not going to be producing heaps of ships. You only need one dockyard, I find. I don't think iron mines make a lot of money, but it's better than nothing. And I think I've spent pretty much all that I can. Look at the upkeep costs on these. Pretty much a full upkeep. Okay, well we send them over here now. And it makes me an additional 1988. Very nice. Now these these ones here obviously they're a bit damaged. Need to send them back here for repairs. Looking at that trade income now, yeah, we really fattened our purse up by stealing those ships. Look at look at that, ten thousand a turn. That was well worth losing that other ship for it. For it. All right, nothing else to do. Let's move on. And we've all seen what happens when we try to increase the tax rates at this stage. It just causes more problems than anything. Public order problems and extra town watch, so it ends up costing more money anyway. So they just let the Italians deal with the with the Austrians for the time being. Rebellion? Oh, you be fucking kidding me, I only held it for one turn. It must have rioted on, on the other person's turn. Fuck. And you know that that's a lot. What of enemy troops? They'll be taking that on the, on the end turn. And that'll be another faction I'll be at war with. Fuck. I should have just exempted it from taxation. It wasn't making much money anyway, but I didn't realize it was going to revolt. Could have given me a fucking warning. Alright, so... Our new ships... Our new trade ships need to come up here, find a good trade route to... Go and make me lots of cash.
de l'ordre, Captain. Voile sortie. It can't be repaired because it's not a port just yet. Oh, 32 gun frigate, yeah. So yeah, they're making a fair amount of money from the ivory there. But considering we've already got heaps of enemies out here, it might not be a good idea to attack Denmark right now. Plus we are trading with them. All I want to do is just maintain the status quo out here. If I stand here, I run the risk of getting hit by them and the revolutionaries. I'm fine with them just taking the settlements. Just write that one off. Okay, if we build this, that'll help the public order here, but it will take some time. It'll also give us more money by increasing the tax rate by 5%. We've held onto it for nearly 20 turns now, I think. Now, if we were to leave, we can ex Okay, public order's under control. These guys need to get over to to the situation where Napoleon is, because that is looking a little bit a little bit dicey. I could use some help. So yeah, just have to exempt it from taxation every every two turns. Until it's under control. Okay, we're going to need a factory, so let's see. So we're going to look for manufactory and upgrade it somewhere. Somewhere where there's actually good public order. Let's have a look. It's not too bad there, actually. So that gives access to the next level of tax. So it, just, it just takes a while for it to come into play. Grow the infrastructure in France. Yeah. Convert that over because we don't we don't need a supply post there. And we've pretty much spent all of our money. Now, if I was to recruit some troops here, what could I get? Could I get line? Okay, I can. Because it might benefit us if if I make this a full stack to have them help us take out Portugal. And certainly need another army. Maybe. Actually. You don't need repairs. You come over here. I want you to keep an eye on them. So looking at this, we've just we've added another enemy to our Monsieur? to our to our enemies. Um, Napoleon probably could beat that. This was an order resolve because most of it is town militia. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, easy order resolve there. Barely lose anything. Okay, so it's not so bad. Peace was occupied. This time exempted from taxation. Oui, en avant, marché. Alright, good. So that wasn't too bad then. Good, all of that is valuable resources. Now I may have forgotten to, um, to recruit some ships here. Last turn. Solidement 
So yeah, it's a stack and a half. It's certainly more than I'll be able to deal with, with just one stack. Like I said, we've got another stack on its way. You need to come over here, support Napoleon. It would probably be better if we sent these guys around up this way and hit there. But that would leave this front here vulnerable, so I don't know. All right, I've got plenty of money. Let's have a look here. We need to save four spots for artillery. Uh, so that means if I've got eight here, I can have another eight infantry. How much longer has this got to go? Okay, cool. Yep. Just build them for the time being, because there's no rush on that. Now they sent in let their letters of demand. We need to exempt it from taxation for this turn. Use the bird noises, it's early morning, and the birds are chirping. They really, really, that noise is piercing the fucking glass. Feels like it's just outside the window, but it's actually not. They're just really loud. Like, if I was to go outside, you'd be surprised how fucking loud those damn stupid fucking birds are. People are always like, Legend, do you own a bird? I can hear birds in the background. No, oh, it's just birds. I only own a dog. And you can hear that dog half the time as well. Okay, that's all that done. Moving on. Not making a lot this turn because London's not being taxed. But we only need to go through that like once or twice more. Now, in regard to order resolving battles, I only really want to fight the manually resolved battles if, if it's going to be an interesting fight. And by that I mean where order resolve wouldn't have yielded victory. Because you can rely fairly heavily on the balance of power bar in this game. You just need to also take into consideration the enemy general and your general. Which isn't taken into consideration very much in the later Turtle Wars. Which is sort of like a mid-later Turtle War. Dark Age of Turtle War. This game, this is an Empire Total War. The two crappiest games in the Total War franchise. I find that people who love this game love the the era more than the actual mechanics of the game. The mechanics were very bad and very barely, very poorly programmed. You know, you can be f forgiven in the fact that you know it was a brand new engine, apart from. Rome, Rome 1 was also a brand new engine, don't forget. Hey, you know how everyone loves this engine? Hey, let's just dump it for this new Warscape engine. Yeah, that was a great idea. Okay, let's repair that. It's not too bad. The cost. Certainly already made that money back. Just in one turn from, from this. that increased our money by 200 there. Okay, we don't need to exempt it from taxation this turn, nor will we need to exempt it from taxation again, because next turn that will go away. And then we just need the town watch repression to go away, which will, which will happen over time, and then it'll make tons of cash for us. It'll be a good settlement. Okay, what do we... What do I want you to do first? Uh, 
Um, let's see. Reduced upkeep cost for, sh for naval units or wealth generated by farm. I don't want this because of the, the negative public order penalties. I will eventually need to get it, but there's other things in here that we want first that's going to negate that. then. And this one can go for something like... Yep, just another 5% off for naval units. I mean, if I have a look at this, the navy is not really costing me a whole lot. But, you know, to reduce that by 10% will save me 350 bucks. It's, it's not nothing. These guys here have left themselves completely undefended. But, let me just see this. What was the name of their faction called? Uh, Hes Hessen Kessel. Hessen. Okay, so we're trading with them. They're at war with Prussia, Russia, and Austria. Okay, maybe best not attack them yet, because those are our enemies too. Oh, those birds are going nuts. Unfortunately, I can't just press a button and say turn off birds. I mean, the best I can do is have the windows closed, which is what I've got. So I can't, I can't shut out the windows anymore. No, I know people complain about it a bit. Can't do anything about it. Okay, we'll just... We don't need to attack this right now. We've got time to, to, to wait. So let's move on. Oh, I had leftover cash. I'll just I'll spend it next turn. Man, I wish my army was there right now. I could take Venice. Oh well, I can't do anything about that now. So that was the last time they'll be on strike. Bavaria, that was one of our allies. Oh well. Saves me having to kill them later down the track. Looks like Austria got them. No, it was Prussia. Man, Prussia's on the fucking warpath. Um, so looking at Napoleon, he's almost at full strength. If I was to lead an all-out attack out here, I'm pretty confident I'd win. I don't like big massive battles though, because it, it forces me to have to withdraw my forces to, to get in reinforcements, because I can't use them both at the same time. They can't reach there this turn, but what we'll do is we'll move them up here, and they should be able to reach next turn, just within range. And while that's going on, let's just make sure nobody else gets in the way of doing this. So these guys here, Oldenburg, they're unfriendly towards us. If we get a trade agreement with them, can we also get a non-aggression pact? Well, what do, you, what do you get with this? Military access. Ally of my enemies. Oh, they're allied to Prussia. Mm. If you do that, I'll give you unlimited access. Oh my god. I can't believe they accepted that.
That was such a stupid deal. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, why not? Huh. Okay, and now they've been turned into one of my allies. So you lose Bavaria, get Oldenburg. That was, that was a fucking stupid deal. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Alright, so now we just need four more of those things. Then what? I don't think we need a supply warehouse here. Convert that to market. Yeah, gold's worth a fair bit. Good, they've been fully restored. Good. Bit of extra cash coming in through there. None of my uh, trade routes are blocked. And you only really need one trade partner with, with this game. All it does is, by having multiple trade partners is that um, if any of them get blockaded, obviously you don't lose all your resources. And also you get the that unlimited goods, oh, sorry, the other goods um, tradable resource. That's the whole benefit of having multiple trade partners. Moving on. Looks like the Kingdom of Italy missed its chance to get Venice. Isn't Venice in the canals, like, right on the coast? It's not inland settlement. So, where it's sitting on right now is kind of ahistorical. Or a-geographical, I should say. Okay, an army just moved down here and took... Hessen, I think. Yeah, they did. So we have a choice to hit Hessen Kessel or Hanover. We can't do both. I mean, I could, but I don't want to because there's, there's a lot of troops out here. Fuck off, bird. Seriously. Jesus Christ, they're loud. I'm going to go out there and shoot them, but I don't have a gun. Um, oh, we can't. Hang on, no, no. We have to go through this way here. But, well, actually, you just need to... Stand there, then he can make it. I think this would be the way to go. Because we'll get less public order penalties from here because they've just captured it. Now, if we bring in him in here as well, this would be such an easy order resolve. Hmm, I thought it would be better than that. Okay, just tell me the other army took that. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. With both of them taking damage, that worked out really well for us. Better than what it would have manually, because I probably could have done that battle and only taken 500 casualties. But what would have happened is certain units would have taken the bulk of the damage, whereas it was nice and evenly spread out, and so they'll, they'll recover their casualties um, quite quickly this way. Now, I don't really care to stick around in this settlement, in the death trap, with these men of armies sitting there. So, I'd like to get these guys moving a little bit more out this way. Doesn't matter if they don't recover. The thing is, we killed a full stack there. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, the region itself is not worth very much. 411, I don't really care about that. So, I want to just double back around this way, come up here again. If they want to come and attack this, fine. Just keep wiping out their armies. I can't believe how many armies they've fucking got. Alright, and over here. That'll be ready soon. And we can start building that up. Let's grab this. Uh, actually, be careful with that. Yeah, public order's good. Bring them 
and down here. Resources don't we have? So we've got cotton, tobacco. I should just go for the checklist here. Yep, we've got coffee, we've got cotton, furs. Do we have any of those? No. Ivory? No. Spices? Yes. Sugar? Yes. Tea? A little bit. Tobacco? Yes. So the only thing we don't have are furs. I don't really care if they come and steal my text. Okay, so we've got access to new technologies here. Trade units are good for public order. Really good for the lower classes, so that'll be good. It does reduce our wealth from mines and industrial buildings, but I don't really care that much. I much prefer public order. Public order is money. So maybe just finish that off. Actually, no. I think that's more... Hang on, let me see here. Metric system. 10% to technology rate. Let's go with the metric system. Something that the Americans still haven't fucking adopted yet. Moving on. I mean, how can you not adopt a metric system? By making a, lit a liter of water is 100, 1,000 milliliters, and it's also one kilogram. You can measure everything based on water. And volume, you know. If they got it. Then again, I'm no mathematician, so I shouldn't be bothering about it. So Portugal won a peace treaty, but I was just about ready to come and attack them, so no. Oh, that's not good. That's it, Swiss, go and help the Italians, because if, if the Austrians break through there, we're in trouble. I'm really annoyed by those birds. They're being particularly noisy. They're not usually this noisy at this time of day. I don't know, maybe you guys can't hear it that well. I can fucking hear it. And I got headphones on. It's just annoying. You know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to increase the quality of my videos lately. And get the squawking fucking birds everywhere. Sick, so give us loads of boats. So from 600 to, fuck, now increase of 400 there, 500 to 800, not bad at all. This is really increasing our income by a ton. Okay, and they didn't, they didn't go after... It's in Kessel. It's in Castle, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, we could take that on. We could take Hanover now. I mean, this guy is here. He might take this region, but that doesn't really matter. Alright, we're, we're at an hour into the video, so this is a good opportunity, I suppose, for a manually resolved battle. Um, my biggest concern of attacking them. Hang on, I got an idea. You besiege. I have an idea. Oh, we've been intercepted. But I was making the... whatever. Um, ah, shit. This would be very good to manually resolve, because our cannons would uh, mop the floor with these fucking idiots. 
Probably not so good to order as well, but I'm not certain. Like I was saying before, I want to try and get one manually resolved battle in it, at least every episode. And technically we've already had that at the start with the naval battle, but I don't know. The thing is, like I said, I'm going to fight battles manually where it's in my best interest to try and squeeze a good result out of it. If it's just a, a pointless battle, that no real gain, there's not going to be subsequent battles later on, on that turn, there's no need for me to really give a shit about fighting it manually. Okay, let's find a good spot. Nice open plains like that here, seems good. Don't like these trees in the way. Can't you cut the fucking trees down before the battle? That's what I do. Cut the trees down and turn them into spikes. I'd be a very brutal general. My men would love me, my enemies would hate my fucking guts. I'm not trying to corner camp, this is the best spot for the, um, for the artillery. If there was a better hill, somewhere else I would have taken it. Okay, where are the enemy reinforcements coming from? Okay, good, they're coming from over there. I was worried they might come from behind us. If they're just going to stand there, what I might do is I might pause the recording here and wait for them to actually get into position because this could take a while for them to do anything because they're just going to walk. And I'll just keep shooting them in the meantime. Okay, they they seem to be coming at us pretty quickly now. With the, at least with the cavalry, and I wouldn't want to deny you guys the orgasmic artillery bombardment of cavalry, which just wrecks them, basically because they're, they're going to blow them up. Don't have the range for it. They keep bouncing them on these wall on this section here. Come on. The uh, the twelve pounders are well within range. There we go. Even if only one in a few shots manage to hit, they still do so much damage. Tears and run off the horse. Okay, well at least they've they've all taken a bit of damage, but if they were a bit closer, it'd be a little more accurate. So they just stand right within artillery range and just do this. Don't tell me this game's got good AI, it doesn't. There we go, they're actually shattering as well. Problem with this though is that they shattered quite early, we didn't actually like wipe out the battalions. So anyway, at this point here, I'm going to pause the recording and wait for these guys to actually make an attack because hitting the infantry is, I think, less satisfying. Napoleon Total War AI here, and look at this. 
how to how to how to form a defensive position, get into a nice Union Jack sort of cross when you're playing as Prussia, and just let the artillery blow you to shit. Well, say what you want about Rome 2A's AI. It's not as bad as Napoleon. It is a step up from that. Anyway, I'll pause the record until probably this battle's over because it just looks like they just don't want to move towards us. Don't forget, they're on the attack. It's their it's their job to move towards me. I'm not going to do anything. They've got no artillery. So anyway, I'll pause until something interesting happens. Okay, so after sitting there for about 10 minutes, it looks like they finally decided to march towards us. And you can see that they've, they've lost so many men there. Jesus Christ, they just sat there for ages. And um, they're still just bombing the crap out of them. And they just lost their general. So when they get a bit closer, we'll start using um, canister shot, obviously. Now, I don't want you guys shooting, but once the army, enemy army breaks, you'll need to go chase them down, obviously. I know they're not quite in range yet, we just get them started. Shattered, but we need the more shadow before I send the cavalry out. Have a few shots off on us, but it's nothing major. My artillery have a lot of experience now, so they can reload really quickly. Run back because it's not evenly distributed, obviously. Um, oh, nice man. Okay. Actually, come around this way because they're running it this way. You stop, sh don't shoot at them. I'm sure one little charge in there should break them. Oh, they're going to square formation. I guess we'll see then, won't we? Oh, fuck me. They just destroyed my cavalry unit there. Send it up this way. Go attack that. You bomb him. This is why you don't use cavalry in battle. Uh, in 18th century, it just doesn't do anything. So the cavalry is not useful, but it's only useful for running down already routing units. Or dealing with other cavalry units. I really struggle with that. 
Um, that was almost over. And we really did take minimal casualties. But impossible to take none. Well, not impossible, but not without using exploits. So it'll just be a moment running these guys down. Don't forget about them. On the Poland, do you want to finish them off? Our general is under attack! I'm going to let them get away. Alright. I think we're good then. Close victory? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't even know why I'm surprised. The, uh, the game was not well programmed. Yeah, just a 10 to 1 kill ratio. No one really took much damage. Yeah, we nearly lost that battle, guys. Alright, so... We'll probably be able to auto-resolve this one now. Because I can bring these in as well. And that'll spread out the casualties. Okay, that's okay. Um, finish them off. I don't want them coming back. No, I can't. Okay, public order here. Just, um... Yeah, exempt it from public... Actually, no, no. Next turn, exempt it. Get rid of that. If in favour of the uh, a public order building, like, the tax office is probably best. Actually, that could very easily be lost to us, so don't even bother with it. But, now that we've done that, we've got, we're in a really good position here, we've got to press the attack further. Now, if we attack um, Berlin, the, the big problem there is that, oh, hang on, I think, I think it might actually cause them to surrender. Let me just check this. Well, we get money, but it also might force them to surrender. But, um... It'll have huge unrest. So it might be best just to, just to wait before we're taking that. Okay, and now we can start getting the 12 pounders. So there'll be three turns, and then we'll have an army here that's better than what Napoleon has. With a general that's shit. I, I s oh, okay, that's fine. Alright, got a little bit of cash left over, what are you going to do with it? Okay, moving on. The thing is, fighting that battle before manually allowed us to auto-resolve the other battles because we crushed them so badly there. If I had auto-resolved it, I may have had to fight the bigger battle manually, which I didn't need to. Because one thing it did, it sent the other army flying in the other direction so they weren't able to reinforce the settlement. Okay, there's still a lot of Prussians in the area. Despite the fact we've taken out multiple full stacks of theirs, they, they probably still outnumber us. Okay, that's bad. What they've just done there, really, really stupid. Um, they've left their settlement undefended against the Austrians. They may end up retaking it, or may end up taking it, I should say.
Workers on strike in Hanover. Yep, exempt it from taxation. time now. I've also got a larger army than before. So that obviously has expenses. Uh, more tobacco. I'll go with cotton. So that furs worth 440. That's they're making 10 times their uh, their cost. Very nice. Don't need supply post. Get the market because it helps with that uh, region wealth. If we can upgrade to the next level, it increases region wealth globally. Well, faction wide, I should say. Now, Mecklenburg, we're at peace with them. But let's just check where their loyalty is like. Because if they declare war on us and get a surprise attack on us, that could be a big problem. So they're allied with Prussia. So let's give them the same, the same deal that we offered um, those other wankers. Just, hey, you want to um, constantly walk through our lands? No, okay. They're not so stupid. Um, still, I definitely want them to break their alliance with Prussia. But let me just see if I can... I can't give them a gift. Maybe give them a technology? No, they, they like Prussia too much. Okay, still want my armies to recover a little bit. If we came down here... Next stop is is at Berlin. And that'll likely have a very large garrison there as well. I don't want to keep my armies inside the zone. I know it will provide public order, but if I get caught in there and lose, I'll lose everything. And if I lose the battle out here, I can always withdraw. Because there are a lot of troops out here. I don't think it, it changes the level of our replenishment. Now this guy, when he's ready, he'll be coming down to deal with uh, the Portuguese. And these guys will help. We'll take out the Portuguese. And then I think I'll send them to Italy. Because I don't know how much... Well then again, that army looks like it's been blown to shit. But the Italians don't look like they're in, in great shape either. We'll just have to see how we go. Okay, well, I've still got heaps of cash, so let's spend some. Plus, per turn, um, wealth in all my regions is really good. The more regions I've got, the more they grow. Might be an idea actually to save a bit of cash and get started on building this because that extra campaign movement range will really help us out. Moving on.
why did Denmark abandon their trade post there? So, yeah, why did they do that? I mean, I don't really mind, because that way I can make use of some of that ivory. Making me even more cash. But why would they just pack up and leave? Because none of these are available for them to use. Just seeing if there's any other trade routes up this way. Nope. Yeah, I I'm not really looking to get a big navy at this point because I've already taken out of taken out England. Okay, I'm almost at full strength there. We could make a march straight to Berlin, but I reckon there'd be pretty heavy resistance. Plus, Sweden's close by, and we've got the Prussians right here. What we could do is take a single unit of National Guard to go and scout. That way if he gets killed, no, no big deal. Damage, whatever. Let's see what we're up against here. Well, it's about two full stacks. It's certainly some, it's certainly manageable, I think. It depends on what they've got, though. The main problem is, is that once we've taken Berlin, we're not going to be able to leave Berlin for quite some time. Well, at least not one of the um, other armies. It might force them to surrender, though. I can't remember if that's what it does. It gives us 2,000 extra income. And getting these guys out of here... such a good opportunity to smash a full stack here as well. Like, who gives a fuck about fucking castle? Who cares about them? Thing is, it would certainly require a manually resolved battle. Without a doubt. Hang on. If we're gonna do this, let's do it right. Because if I, if I walk into that territory, I could very easily get, um... I'm going to make this attack, already committed to it, as you can tell. Just be mindful that if we if we walk into- oh shit, there's more than we thought. I'm going to make, make the attack. I'm not going to be doing the battle on this episode. Because... Oh yeah, I thought we might get intercepted. Hmm, should we do it or not? As in, should we fight this manually? Okay, I'll, I'll fight this battle manually, but I think, I'll, because the thing is, I just, I don't want this video to go too far over an hour and a half. I think it's, the reason why I want to fight this one manually is because if we do this one really well, it will make the siege of Berlin so much easier. It's just, it's two armies that I don't have to worry about. So, once again, we'd have to rely very heavily on our artillery to, to clear away a lot of the enemies. Okay, so they've got reinforcements coming in. I mean, so do we, but I don't expect them to actually show up. Okay, once again, we just need a good spot for the artillery. Here's a good spot. Again, it's, I don't want a corner camp, but there's no other position here that's as good. I like setting my army up this way because in this game that seems to work. In 
the reinforcements I think are coming from down here. Alright, aim for aim for cavalry. Because you fat chance of hitting the infantry at this stage. The thing is you can hit the cavalry even if it's outside of its range. These are six pounders. I mean, I've got six pounders as well, but my twelve pounders will be able to hit them from the long range. See, that just wrecks them. It might be better off if we start going after generals, because if we kill their general, we'll fuck up their morale. Get stop, sir. We have killed their general, <laughs> sir! Now, they must break! I think this is... is that the second time we got him? Or well, whatever the case is, two of them down. But they're still encouraged by nearby generals. The longer they fuck around like this is the worse off it's gonna be for them. They're gonna wait for their reinforcements to show up before they make the attack. So what I'll do here is I'll pause the recording until they actually decide to move forward, because they're just gonna dick around for so long and I'm just gonna keep bombing them. Okay, so they're just about to make their attack. Now I did make a little bit of a mistake earlier on. Um, I'll explain it in a, mo in a moment, but uh, let me just get through this. That's what they aim for my infantry, not my artillery. Good, that's what they're doing. If I was in their position, I'd be shooting the artillery. Oh, hang on, no, these guys are shooting the artillery. Yeah, I don't like that. Get him out. That's actually really bad. More of them survive, it's just that we unlimited them. Shoot them. Back on there. They're going to be able to operate four cannons. Two cannons, that's fine. No, not you, don't do that. Okay, we've got cavalry coming in over here. Well, that should break them. Good. Bit of damage being done, but we're okay for the most part. Okay, we need to resume using canister, uh, it's a round shot. You guys, why aren't you firing back? Right. To stand a little bit further back. Oh, because they're using light for Okay, move forward then. Right 
Fighter nur ein, okay? Canister shot so good. Before the you know the AI doesn't shoot back. Can't send the cavalry chasing them down just yet. Yeah. Basically, what I like to do with these battles is have my infantry just set up in a line. It's called line infantry. But micromanage the artillery. It's all about the artillery. Okay, you should be free now to go and chase him. Get rid of him. It's like getting rid of their artillery. The most important unit to run down is, of course, their artillery. Yeah, some cavalry out over there that needs to be killed. Okay, so the mistake I made over here... Um, it was a bit silly, but they had sent a cavalry unit running around over here, and I had these guys targeting them with round shot, and the fucker managed to go all the way over a here. A glorious and... victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I wasn't quite paying attention, and so these guys were shooting in this direction here, and these, this cannon here blew up all four of the cannons from one of the from the other ones. So I sent those cannons off the battlefield. I mean the men were fine, but the cannons were destroyed. And I kept withdrawing the units until I got another cannon cannon unit to come back in to to take their spot. Shit. Wasn't paying any attention. Get him out of there. Too busy trying to explain something. This is why you can't send them out until like the end of the battle. That was, that was really bad. I don't even think they managed to get rid of the, uh, the unit of artillery that I was after. Let me just check. Oh yeah, they might have. So it was, it was a bit of a trade-off there. Uh, um, cavalry for artillery. Which is some degree worth it. No, 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 come on. I need to be using this. With it. Yeah, if you could go and chase those brothers back, that would be good. Certainly won the battle. It didn't go quite as well as I wanted, but I think it did better than what order result would have yielded. I doubt we've lost any full battalions. I mean, these guys took a beating, but they'll they'll probably be at number ten. They only have ten men left, so that's not enough to have them completely destroyed. They won't be of much use to me in the next battle in Berlin, but we'll just see how we go. I might do a bit of shuffling around. That is part of the... I just don't know what, which army they're on. Get rid of those hussars for me. Uh, on second thought. Aim for this. Today would be nice. Fucking idiots. Okay, the 
shit did they go? Get close as he can fire back. Okay, it looks like the whole army is on the route now, oh, except for the artillery. I'll send these guys in melee because they're they're not remembered yet. Okay, artillery needs to stop firing. Good, so we're just trying to get as many kills as we can while they're running away. And Napoleon, how about you take that? One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. Our men are running, sir! Oh no, it's alright. Ten's still fine. Still heaps hit, run them down, 80. Can't let them get away. That should do. I wouldn't even call that one a close one. I mean, I still had a full army in reserve, just about. So yeah, that's, that's definitely better than what auto reserve would have yielded. And our army's still intact. Sends them away. Now Napoleon can march forward. So yeah, of course that does need to be fought manually. But yeah, I think we'll be fine. I mean, ah, oh, so it wasn't that army. What I want to do this time, because we're going to be up against. Hmm. What we'll do? Switch out. Can't switch out the artillery. But that's fine. I didn't want to do that. Switch out these really weakened units for their artillery. So we have six artillery units set up right from the get-go. Which will be definitely more than what they've got. Well, they're fucking around, we'll bomb the living fuck out of them. Anyway, that's something for the next episode. So guys, like and subscribe, part four's next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.